What's up YouTube and welcome back to Scratch Time. We've taken a long hiatus, but we're back. What are we making today, baby? Uh, I'm making mashed potatoes and gravy. So right now, Bo is doing the gravy and he's got some chopped onion and some oil and a little bit of butter with salt and pepper. Catch us up, baby. Um, so I'm not gonna have a, a, a stock to use. Um, and the only uh, flavor I have is uh, chicken bouillon. I have some other seasons I'm going to add too. So it's going to be kind of like a chicken gravy even for the mashed potatoes. Um, I'm doing some onions ahead of time. I'm going to get them softened but not all the way. So I do want a little bit of crisp. I like the little crisp in the onions for my gravy. But um, I'm going to take them out, put my flour in, make a little roux. roux. Um, then add my flavored water with the bouillon cubes and some other seasoning. Uh, and hopefully we'll have a delicious gravy coming soon. Okay, and tell us what's going on over here in the other pot. Um, I've got some potatoes boiling um, till they're about pork tender for the mashed potatoes. After they're tender, I'm going to take them out, drain them, get all the excess liquid out. Then I'm going to mix in some room temperature butter and some cream cheese and sour cream. We don't have milk, so I'm just gonna try a bunch of cream and see how it turns out. We have milk, we just don't have milk, cow milk. We have almond milk with vanilla, and I don't wanna risk that. Um, and what type of potatoes are these? These are russet potatoes. Here the water, I've got a little bit of rosemary in there, a little bit of rosemary sprigs, and I, some parsley. <laughs> And it's, the water is salty, though, so don't forget to salt your water. Okay, we'll be back with an update. Onions are done and coming out the pan. Mm. It's also going to add flavor. Mm -hmm. Onion, onion grease. I typically would have did some garlic, but I got lazy. <laughs> I might add some granulated garlic when I add my flour in. Some burnt onion will add some flavor too. Don't taste bad. I think we got most of it out. Hot. To my hot flour, we're gonna add, to my hot oil, I'm gonna add some flour. And I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. Mix it in there pretty good. Don't want the flour to burn, but we wanna cook that flour taste out of it. We don't want our gravy to taste like flour and oil. We want it to taste like gravy. Keep it moving. And a little bit more. And I like the dark color of the flour. Get them turn the heat down a little bit. So when your flour gets a darker color, it's gonna get like a almost like an almondy flavor. Um, and the color your flour gets here is kind of going to dictate how deep your gravy gets in color. So you want to keep it moving and so it doesn't burn though. More flour! Making a lot of gravy so. It's gonna get pasty, which I don't mind. Having to get into a paste like this is also going to make get rid of lumps. Make sure the flour and oil is well combined. Those 
They're tender right now. I'm gonna take them out. Yeah, I'm gonna take them out and strain them in the sink. Uh, I like to strain here. So I'll let those sit in there. And while that's uh, strain, the water's leaving there. I'm gonna take this pot and add my butter because I didn't soften it beforehand. Now that it's built in the pot pot. I'm really doing any measurements with this. So I'm going to see how it turns out. And I'm gonna start adding in my liquids back to the gravy. It's thickening pretty well. Should be using a whisk, which I'm going to get in a second. I'm just going to mix it in. I kind of overdid it with the flour, so we're bringing it back to our roux. See how it's sticking in there? It's thick. But we kind of want that still. We're going to add more water and add some seasonings. So I'm going to add some onion powder, garlic powder, some chicken bouillon cubes, and I think we're gonna keep it basic just with those three. I already got my two bouillon cubes, and I'll add these to salt and pepper, and they're in the real season board. I'll add some more water. Technically, this should be moving the whole time. Thinning it out some more. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda messed up on my gravy, but uh, this is real life, this is how it happens. I add some garlic powder. I add some onion powder. I don't cook a whole lot. Keep it stirring, keep it moving. Add some more water, I'm gonna need a lot more water, but add a little bit at a time, thin out this thick slurry we have. Not too fast so I don't spill. But it's starting to come look like gravy. I like doing it this way too because you can see how how it's already pre-thickened this much. So you can thin it out as much as you want. I personally like thick gravy. Not this thick of course, but I prefer my gravy on the thicker side. It's still on low heat. I'm going to add more water and I'm going to add my two bouillon cubes. Which I should have pre-mixed in the water. But, oh well. My butter is pretty melted. My potatoes hopefully are losing a lot of steam. I'm probably going to shake those around a bit and make sure that water leaving them because we don't want them too wet for our mashed potatoes. These boiled cubes will break down eventually as I keep stirring. The flavor of the gravy. You get some more water and mix my potatoes. I'm not going to hand mix them too much but just shake them around. See how that steam coming out. We want them, our potatoes to kind of dry out. And some water's coming out the bottom. Third cup of water? Yeah. Pour it in slow and stir. That bouillon cube is pretty much already gone already. It's not that hard to make good gravy, especially when you have meat drippings. Meat drippings will make this taste delicious and it'll tie your your uh, meal together. Your, your meal together because you'll have the flavor from your meat uh, in the gravy and it always goes right. Now not having meat drippings, this will still be a good gravy. Simple, not hard to make. And your family will love it. They won't be able to tell. Well, they will be able to tell it's not from a can or from a bag of powder because it's going to taste way really better. I'm going to add my onions back in. I 
throw those in because we like onions in our gravy. Right now it's a good consistency for us. I'm just gonna let it sit over low heat, let the flavors combine. Um, and check it because sometimes it'll thicken up some more. Stir it every so often, but we don't have to baby it. And that's pretty much it. That's the perfect consistency for how I like my gravy. What do you think, Rob? Looks yummy. All right. Actually, we need to taste that. Oh, always taste your food. Always. Get a spoon. It's good. Good. Okay. Ah, yeah. I could use a little more salt, but we really need to cut back on salt anyway. Whoop, whoop, whoop. New toy alert! New toy alert! Yay! Our first time making mashed potatoes with a, uh, I guess it's a potato a masher. Yeah. Potato masher. So we got our dried out cooked potatoes. We're gonna add them to the pot of butter. Eva's gonna put this in the sink for me. Yay! And we're just gonna start mashing. Ooh, that is first time. And they're mashing it pretty good right now. Um, time to add some stuff. Yeah, we didn't have milk. Usually we could do some warm milk to round out your flavors. What I do have is I have sour cream and I have cream cheese. So we're gonna try those and see what happens. If it tastes good, you're going to get a video about it, and you're watching it now. If it's horrible, you'll never see it. Uh, and that's Philadelphia style cream cheese, Philadelphia cream cheese. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be warm or not, but it's too late now. Like I say, we didn't do any measurements for this. Eyeballing it, baby. We're just eyeballing it. See what happens. Now, what I didn't add to this what? was garlic. I'm kind of not feeling garlic today. No? Yeah. Garlic I'm going for buttery. I, I know. I'm going for buttery. We've been using a lot of garlic in our meals lately. So, I guess that's why I felt that way. I don't know. You know what I wanted? Some chives. Some chives. Next time, baby. Next time. Cooking in a pandemic, you don't, you know, you, you cook with what you have, mm -hmm. and guess what? It's still gonna be good. It looks good. It looks amazing, baby. Give me some chunks. You know, I like some chunks. Oh, you like chunks? Okay. Yeah. Um, since we brought sour cream, we're gonna add some sour cream. That's right. No food left behind. <laughs> Thank you, boo. You're welcome. Was that enough? Yeah, that okay. looks good. We should have had the sour cream queen tell us that this enough. Yeah. Slide that outside, slide that up to the side. She swears she don't eat potatoes, but wait till she, this will be her first time having mashed potatoes. And, uh, and uh, she used to tear mashed potatoes up as a child. Don't hit the wall, baby. That's all I hear in the video. <laughs> Yeah, she used to tear potatoes up. You remember that, boy? All the time. That was her go-to meal. Oh, you need something to loosen it up. Actually, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Kind of thick. You just got to move that glove. Uh, Cream cheese. Yeah, I don't want to over stir it. Right. Now, some people say you can't do mashed potatoes in like a, a food processor. I've done it before. The people say it gets rubbery. I've done it before and haven't had an issue. So if you don't have a potato masher, it's worth, it's worth doing it in the food processor. I've done it and had success. The same thing, I gotta wash that spoon out. I'm gonna use the same spoon and see how this tastes. Looks good. I didn't add any, the water was salted. I didn't add any salt yet, which I'm 100% sure is gonna need because potatoes eat up salt like nobody's business. Um, some fresh ground pepper. I'll go ahead and put that in now. Preferred salt is pink Himalayan. Yes. Add a 
add that in. Stir the gravy, make sure it's still good. Turn the heat off, actually. Gravy still looks good. So mashed potato is another thing. Seems daunting to do it from scratch, but it's not. Every recipe you say you, you'll find online says you need milk. You really don't. These look creamy. Yes. Now if you like your potatoes thicker, add more sour cream or um cream, cream cheese. If you like them thinner, I mean. Um they get the taste. So last thing, potatoes did taste amazing. Uh, if you want to add garlic to your mashed potatoes, you can add a couple of cloves in while your potatoes are boiling uh, and that'll get the flavor throughout the potatoes. And if you don't have garlic cloves, you can use some minced garlic, the, uh, pre, pre uh, minced garlic, or you can use uh, garlic powder. Even at this point, if I wanted, I could add garlic powder in, but we're going to lay off the garlic tonight. But uh, they came out good, tastes good. Simple, easy recipe. Can be done. How long did it take us to make those? 30 minutes. 30 minutes? And that was for the mashed potatoes and for the gravy. And that's recording and so on down for all that. So, really, the longest part about the potatoes is boiling the water and the, with the potatoes in it. Let's plate it up. Let's plate it up. Some day old pork chops. Kind, I'll take it. Kind of burnt, but. By the time we put gravy on them, never know the wiser, never be wiser, or whatever the saying is. Some vegetables. We we'll add that later. <laughs> Get to the star of the meal. Yay! to add, add to our dish but them put them on add some colors to the dish with the tongs tongs Third add some color to the plate and do some green beans that Eva made roasted green beans Yay. made by Eva thank you Eva put the powder on and the powder garlic mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eva's got her plate over there. She has her leftovers from yesterday. She just waiting on some extra gravy. We'll eat more vegetables tomorrow, y'all. Yes, we will. <laughs> and done. Looks Yummy. delicious. This has been another Scratch Time production. <laughs> and let me tell you something, y'all. I do not believe in cornstarch gravy. Oh, oh, I okay. made some yesterday. Oh, no. And that's why we made this today again today. We got rid of the cornstarch gravy. I don't like it. It's too shiny. It doesn't have any girth. Doesn't have any flavor. Doesn't it, yeah, it's, it's bad. <laughs> yeah. I flavored it as much as I could, but it's horrible stuff. Uh -huh. Any last words? That wasn't my last words. <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all. From Hawaii. Wish y'all bought them all Ravens shirt on. Go Ravens. Ain't Never forget where you're from. <laughs> Never forget. 2001 Super Bowl. Oh, Should have been last year too. All right, y'all. Peace. <laughs>